Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos. If you want to know about the Yamaha CLP745, this is the video for you. So let's get started. We've got uh, 38 voices to choose from, but they've put two on the panel, the main two samples, the Bersendorfer and the CFX Concert Grand that Yamaha make. And we can choose those from these gray buttons on the screen here. Um, so if we go to the um, CFX Grand first, that's a slightly brighter sound. Okay. We go to the Bosendorfer. And I suppose it's a little bit just like going to two different pianos. They're going to have their own characteristics, and that's what Yamaha offered you with two different really good samples. Now, if we go to the voice button, we can go down to lots of different sounds, and the first category is pianos. So we have in the first category our main two sounds. Then we've got the upright piano. We've then got the uh, bright grand. And these just are all subtly different. The mellow grand. Warm grand, the pop grand, grand jazz, rock grand. So all these sounds to suit different styles of music and honk tonk. So they've all got their own characteristics. And I think that the thing I've found is that playing different styles of music, it's quite nice to experiment with different sounds that might suit that piece of music the best. So the second section we're using is the Forte Pianos. And this is a new concept that Yamaha have introduced into the CLP series. And how they've done it is they've recorded, um, or they've made samples from pianos that were manufactured um, back in the 18th and 19th century. And these pianos are going to sound very different because the manufacturing techniques of those older pianos was very different to how they would make a modern piano. So you're going to hear different sort of overtones and things coming through. If I play the, um, one of the two sounds, they're, they're kind of, um, they're based around two composers. We've got the, the Mozart and the Chopin piano sounds, and they're both going to have their own characteristics. And the thing I've noticed by playing them is that you get this sort of harpsichord sound coming through because the, the dampers and the felts weren't as as good in those days. So if we play the, the Mozart piano, so we're getting a lot more authenticity because we're getting the sounds of the piano of those, those days when those uh, composers were uh, we're making their music and that makes it much more realistic but it's very different to what we're used to so it, you, it's nice to hear a piece of music played in the sound as it would have been composed if I press it a little bit harder and softer okay the second sound is a Chopin piano and this is going to give us a, again another another sound from the yesteryear if we go to So again, a very different sound, but nice to get the, the availability of those voices. And that's something that the CLP745 offers you. So moving on from the Forte piano sounds, we've now got the electric pianos. We've got organ sounds, which include all the, the church organs. So we've got the... And the touchy, that big rich sound. slow jazz organ, the, the slow Leslie effect. And we've got the fast Leslie. And a mellow organ. And we've got a jazz organ sound. And we've got a slow Leslie effect here. Or we can go down to the fast Leslie. And we get that full. mellow organ sound. If we go down a little bit further, we've got strings to choose from. 
and the uh, the string sounds. We've got orchestral strings. We've got a nice choir sound. And if we go to the next category, we've got um, bass sounds. So these are nice. And we can add a cymbal to it. Now one of the nice things about this model is that we can split the keyboard and have the bass in the left hand while we're playing piano or something else in the, in the melody. So the bass with the cymbal is great for that. We've also got electric bass sounds. We can go to other categories. We have the other section which is going to give us harp scores. And the vibraphone I like. So a good selection of voices to choose from and they're all of these different categories that we can easily find. And remember you can mix any two together, so piano and strings work really well together. We can split the keyboard and have that double bass at the bottom. Um, and so different combinations are, are great to experiment with and make it more interesting. So the second thing I want to talk about is the keys themselves. The keyboard is 88 notes, like that of a real piano. The bottom notes are heavier and the top ones are lighter, just like that of an acoustic because of the way that the strings are and the extra a uh, hammer action needed, so it feels a little bit heavier at the bottom to play the, the bigger strings, just like an acoustic piano would feel. They're even topped, we've got the, the white keys are topped with a, a synthetic ivory feel, the black keys with a synthetic ebony feel, so they feel very realistic and you get that grippiness that you do on acoustic pianos that you wouldn't get on some of the lower portable pianos. And we've got wood inside this one. Being the 745, uh, they've actually got wood inside all the white keys, so it feels much more realistic, like a real piano would have. And um, it, it's nice to play. The 745 certainly is a, a different feel to the 735, the model below it. And um, I think you'll notice the difference when you play it. If you're planning on using your digital piano with headphones, then this is perfect. It has a new feature called binaural sampling. Now, binaural sampling is something that makes you feel like you're not actually wearing any headphones at all and you're just hearing the piano acoustically. And that means essentially if I'm playing on the left lower end of the piano, it's going to come through my left earpiece mainly. And if I'm playing at the top end of the piano, mainly through my right earpiece. And this does really work. When I was playing the piano earlier with headphones, you really feel like the sound is coming from the, the base of the instrument and not just from your headphones. The next functions on the 745 I want to show you is the two buttons at the bottom here. We've got the metronome and the rhythm button. Now the metronome will just tap away in the background like a conventional metronome, but we can set the tempo and we can also set whether there's a bell that rings on the first beat of the bar. And it's really useful when you're playing a piece of music just to make sure that you're getting your timing right. We've also got the rhythm button here and the rhythm button will, will give us true uh, drum backing. So I've got a real choice here. Introduction. <coughs> We've got gospel, we've got shuffle, 16 beat, we've got more uh, conventional ones, jazz, jazz waltz. So these will just add to what you're playing and give you a bit more uh, excitement as you're playing the different pieces of music. But also, we can get a bass line that comes through. There's an optional bass line. And that's a bit like some of the home keyboards in the way that the bass line will follow the chords that you're playing on the instrument. So if I was to play, let's go to, um, let's go to that slow jazz and I'll play a, I'll start the drums off. If I play a chord, the bass line follows me. So the rhythm and metronome buttons are really useful just to add a little bit more in and also help you with your timing as well. The next feature I want to talk about is something called Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth MIDI. On all the earlier models, you used to be able to buy a dongle or something that plugged into the instrument that you had to pay for to link it up to your Wi-Fi or to your uh, Bluetooth on your telephone. So rather than mess around with cables and um, plug-ins and things to make it all work now, you literally just Bluetooth your phone to the piano, which takes about three seconds, and it's all connected. Much, much easier. And there's a great recording section on this instrument too. And you've got MIDI record and audio record. So MIDI is great for taking files out to um, Finale Print Music or Sibelius, where you can manipulate the notes you played and even print them out as parts and sheet music, 
or audio record, which takes the sound that you've produced from your instrument, and then you can burn that onto a CD for, through a computer. Uh, so you've got lots of options to how you record. So I'm going to record a piece of music into the 745, and you can just see how easy it is to actually use the facility. So I'm going to press the record button, and it's chosen right hand, that's fine. I'm going to record my right hand first, and I'm going to use a metronome in the background just to keep my timing uh, rigid. So let's go to metronome, and we're just going to slow that down a little bit. Okay. So that's fine for me. I've pressed record already, so as soon as I start playing, my recording will start. That's fine. So I'm going to stop my recording. It automatically says, do you want to save it? And I go, yes. And it saves it to the user memory, and it's called it User Song 002. Now I can add to that now, I can add my left hand part. So if I press record and we go down to 002, it's now ready and I can this time record my left hand, so I'll change it to L and I put my metronome back on. And the moment I start playing my left hand, it will add it to the first recording. stop that now and again it will say do you want to save those extra parts yes I do and it's now saved them so I've now got two parts there's a maximum of 16 so we could keep adding parts in and building up our composition but the idea is it's good to listen to it back it's good to be able to play uh, the second part maybe the left hand while the first is playing back just to get your mind used to syncopating the two together and hear, hearing where they fit and that will help you to progress to playing both hands at the same time. So a really good feature, the record, and very easy to use. The final thing I want to talk about on the 745 is its speakers. You won't get the true effect of them from a recording on YouTube, but the, the speakers themselves on this are 50 watts. You've got two pairs of 50 watt speakers, and the sound is really big. It's a big, rich sound, and I've loved playing this instrument. <laughs> low volumes, the, the richness and depth is still there. Okay, so the Yamaha CLP745. We've covered its 38 voices, we've covered its keyboard, we've covered its speakers. Uh, the rhythm section, the recording section, and the use with headphones by Neural Sampling. If you click on the link in the description, you'll be able to go through to our website where there's far more details. And if you'd like to know more about the model above this one, the CLP775, there's a link below in the description. I hope you found this video useful.